Hey friends, welcome to this video. We are looking at AWS Solution Architect Professional Important Services that you will need to understand to get certified. In the previous video, I explained how many questions comes in the exam, what kind of high level areas that needs to be covered, how much of experience you need, what is out of scope and so on. So if you have not yet subscribed, do so it will help you with certifications. A lot of questions linked with this topic is in the cloud ninja members area please subscribe become a member this is a very difficult certification one of the most difficult certifications on aws now these services are divided into multiple parts the first part i'm covering is analytics so these are the range of services you need to know you need to know athena which is used to fire sequels on different database it's a data federation kind of solution then you need to know the real time stuff kinesis data streams etc you need to know quicksight which is a bi reporting tool then comes application integration. These are the important services where you need app flow, app sync, etc. Where you are working with the APIs. You also need to know SNS for sending emails, SQS for creating message queues and step functions for orchestrating the entire set of flow. A surprise surprise is blockchain service. So you will need to understand what does Amazon manage blockchain do for you. Now let's move to business applications. So there will be few questions on Alexa for business as well as SES, which is the email service, which you create a repository so that you have the customers listed there and you can keep automating the email service. Then comes the cloud financial management where we are mostly linked with understanding the cost budget. And these are the important services, budgets, cost explorer, savings plan. Here we try to create a budget for ourselves and then we try to operate and see whether we are sticking to that budget or are we crossing the threshold. We have a savings plan. There are different savings plan for compute usage and so on. Compute is one of the most important areas. These are the important services from compute perspective, EC2, EC2 auto scaling, one of the most important one. Then we have something serverless, which is Lambda and Firegate. And then you have hybrid solution services like Wavelength, Outposts and so on. So nowadays everything we try to containerize so that you build it once deploy it many times deploy it on azure deploy it on aws deploy it on google cloud anyone so this is the elastic container service which is important eks distro eks anywhere kubernetes services and so on then comes the database so there are variety of databases in aws you need to understand each one of them Aurora, Aurora serverless, NoSQL databases, elastic cache which is a caching service, Neptune which is a graph database RDS, Redshift, which is a warehouse and time stream. The developer tools today contain DevOps tools as well. So you need to understand Cloud9, then Code Commit Deploy, which is similar to what you do with GitHub, and then you have X-Ray and Code Star. You got end user computing services like AppStream and Workspaces. This, these two are important services. Then you have front-end web and mobile services like Amplify, API Gateway, Device Farm, Pinpoint, and so on. Now, IoT is one of the important things. We call it Internet of Things. There is a plethora of service that AWS provides, starting from IoT analytics to IoT one click. You need to know each one of them to a reasonable amount of depth. Now, when you are going in as an enterprise architect, you need to know machine learning as well. You need to understand the basics of machine learning. And these are the services which are important. You need to understand what each one of them do. You do not need to go to the depth of each one of them. But for example, SageMaker, you use it for you know using the models you can use poly you can use transcribe for speech to text transcription you can use kendra and so on then comes the management and governance service and there is a whole lot of range of services here start going from proton the service quotas trusted advisor well architected tool to monitoring services like cloudwatch cloudwatch logs compute optimizer to understand how you can effectively use your compute layers and so on then you have some media services like Elastic Transcoder, Kinesis Video Streams. One of the important areas when you go to work for clients is that they want to migrate their databases. They want to transfer their data to cloud from their on-premises environment. So you need to understand what kind of migration service you need to use, what kind of discovery service you need to use, how the data will be synced between on-prem and AWS cloud transfer family and snow family to move your data to transfer your data do a perform a one-time transfer of data to aws cloud using snow devices so we discussed a lot of things but we did not discuss networking and content delivery 
you got to understand what CloudFront is, how you perform load balancing using ELBs, transit gateways, VPCs, VPN, Route 53 for routing the services, and so on. Now, security is one of the most important things. You need to understand how the identity and compliance work. So you need to understand what KMS is, where you store the keys for encryption. You need to understand Cloud HSM, where you can store the keys at a hardware level artifacts, where you have all the compliance documents stored, certificate manager, where you keep your uh, certificates from a encryption in transit perspective, guard duty, and so on. You also need to understand Macy, where you can scan the documents and understand which documents have PII information. You have shield for DDoS attacks and SQL injections. You have firewalls and so on. Last but not the least, let us understand what kind of storage services you need to know. You need to understand S3, which is the object store, Glacier, storage gateways, where you need to you know, connect to your on-prem with cloud. If you want a file system, which is a EFS, EBS is a block store, which is linked with EC2 services, then you need to also understand how AWS backup backups can be taken and how the recovery can happen. We have a service called Amazon Game Lift. This is out of scope for you know this certification so this brings us to the end of this video where we discuss different kind of services for certifications remember that this certification you will be assessed out of thousand marks and you have to score minimum 750 see you in the next part